Wicked RC Adventures here. As you can see, I have a, a box in front of me. Um, it just hit the new year of 2015, and um, I like to bring some new things to my channel, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it here in the future as well. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. See it's the um, Axial SCX10 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon 110th scale four wheel drive truck kit. Let me get this out of the way. Now let's see around the box. Alright, as you can see. This is only a kit, so I am going to need to get a couple other things, like a transmitter, receiver, ESC, motor, steering, steering servo, paint, which I got, glue, if need be, some batteries, of course, and charger, which I got, a multi-charger. Um, recommended terrain, off-road, mountains, and rocky. There's that. Let's take a look here. Looks like Icon vehicle dynamics adjustable threaded aluminum shocks. So those look pretty nice. May not have to bother getting more of a authentic look for this. Um, some links. And the axles. Anyway. Okay, there it is. The reason I chose this truck is mainly because I've seen a lot of videos on it. And it looked really real when people were making their videos. And I have some ideas to use for this. Obviously is why I got it. But, um... I'll go into that more here in a second. Seems some of the um, adjustable body posts, 540 size motor compatibility, protective radio box. <coughs> it has the 1.9 wheels. Um, I'm still throwing it up in the air if I want to go up to 2.2s, but I'm not sure how much of modifications that's going to take. Um, I'll play with that later on. Um, got the um, rear bumper with swing out tire carrier, rock brawler front rear bumpers, and crusher flares, Remo removable top. And the length is 21.25, the width is 9 inches, the height is 9 inches, and the wheelbase is 12.3, ground clearance is 2.7, weight with no electronics is 3.4 pounds. we got some light buckets and paint mask included. So, I have a couple of ideas of how I want to paint this and I'm thinking about of course leaving this area black once I paint it and paint this all the red that you're seeing here paint that as a blue dark blue color or I may end up going with an all black like a flat black or gunmetal black um, if, Here's some of the um, other features. We got transmission, clutch, protective gear cover, and the WB8 wild bore drive shafts. And then we got the chassis. Here's the 
tires that everyone likes. Wow. For 1.9, these are actually pretty big. Let me go ahead and get the measuring tape. Because I know. Let's go ahead and measure these. I know everybody, including myself, always likes to know what size things are to get a better idea of how big it's going to be. It's about four and a half inches or so. Yeah, it's about four and a half inches around on the outer side. So those are actually pretty big tires. You can see they gave, uh, gave all five. Stack those up there. Some of the grease and oil and all the other fun stuff. All the parts and pieces here. See right there the, the side step deal. Get that out. pieces now just to be clear this is my very first kit that I've ever done you know even back when I was a kid I always got the the RTRs for ready to run which I never had to buy anything else just use whatever that was in the packaging and since recently I just got back into it around August of 2014 after taking that big period away from it, um, but, um, this is my very first kit. So, also, if you can, just um, comment on what you use for this particular truck for like motor, um, controller, ESC, and all the other electronic stuff. As I'm still trying to learn it of what's the best to use, I kind of want to, since I get to build this, which is kind of nice and kind of scary at the same time, but as I'm hoping I don't do nothing to break it after I get it together, but um, at least you can just build it right from the way you want it from the get go. And. Just do it once and you'll be done with it. So, right here's the top of the cab. Put that aside. Ooh. There's some of the um, links. It looks like the battery holder. And the screws. There's the shocks and springs. Here's the cab. Probably just do this inside black, you know, just to make it easier. Mm. Also, let me know a good place where you can get the little figurines guys in here. I have a couple of them that I have ideas for I just don't know the particular size that you need and what fits in this yet so if you can just please comment and let me know in that part as well all right here's the um, size for the um, chassis Looks pretty good in size let's get the overall length on this These are just, they're about 16 and 7 eighths, so we'll just call it 17 inches long. So, what are these? Here's the um, rims. These actually look pretty nice. Um, I plan on getting those upgraded as well. Manual and 
some of the decals for it. Actually, they give you a good amount too for it. Look pretty nice. Yeah, so um, I, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get this done. Um, it's going to get done bits and pieces here and there whenever I can get some funds at times to get the upgrades I want. I like to get the metal gearings and some better quality bearings. Um, that's from videos I watched. It's, um, they said it's, it's nice to have those since they can withstand the um, water and stuff. I won't have to worry. I'm going to have to get some marine grease as well. Like I said, I want to build this truck the right way from the beginning and not have to worry about it in the future but um, so again please comment subscribe and like the video that helps a lot and um, let me know um, any suggestions and if you can even post the website links of where you got the parts that way I can look into it as well. Um, again, I'm going to need all the electronics parts. And just uh, let me know. Alright then. Thank you for watching. And um, look forward to making some more videos here in the future.